Trophy, right? For the yeah, the, the, Wahoo, Mc, the Wahoo McDaniel Memorial Cup trophy. Cool, cool. And they have that. They have this every year, right? It's a Wahoo McDaniel This McDaniel's was the Memorial second game. year. Wasn't right. It? This is the second year they did this. Cool deal. Cool deal. Okay. So yeah, BTY and Paul Jordan won that match. Uh, the next match was the uh, the Pride Championship. Nelson Iser was defending against Doug Pitt and Busty Becky. Uh, Dusty Becky in the match, or was she just in the corner? She was with Doug Pitt. Okay. Who yeah. actually is the prime champion? Who was the Nelson Nelson uh, uh, walked in the champ and left without the strap. Oh, Bob. Yeah, and yeah. I, I gotta say something about Nelson Nazar. He's a he's a new guy to our local scene, and he's been on this Goldberg type. Right. Of there you go. Have some garlic on Jesus, Jimmy. Give me baby. Nelson Nazar's good. And Nelson, Nelson there was a wall right. of muscle there. And the loss that he took really wasn't because of the way he lost. He had he had Doug Pitt in the full Nelson. The Nelsonizer. Right. But Doug was yeah. spread, laid down over Nelson and Nelson's shoulders got oh, hit. Oh man. And um, he was pretty pissed about it afterwards and Becky came in and um, Nelsonizer slammed her to the mat. No way. Oh. Yeah. He slammed the bus delicious one. Yes, and her boobs almost fell out. <laughs> Oh, you missed it! Yes, I was, I was just close. Damn! And Busty Becky does sell some nice Bust Delicious bikini pictures and stuff. Buy them at the gimmick table, baby. Alright, so... Uh, was, did uh, did Nelson Iser have any DVDs for that. sale? I, I don't recall. Damn! Yeah, he didn't? He didn't? Okay. Because he usually has some good DVDs for that. Uh, that was... Um, Senior? Yeah, Dave Senior. Senior. Yeah, his eyes got pretty big too when Doug Pitt's <laughs> Woo, how oh bad. Right. Bing, bang, boom, <laughs> high beam splashing. So Doug Pitt is now the NHW Pride Champion. Nice. Uh, Nelson Iser, uh, I'm, not, I'm told, is going to take a few months off. To, uh, really? Yeah, re -heal, uh, recoup, get his bags recharged, uh, heal some injuries. All right, moving on. The next match was uh, Gutter defeated Ryan Holland with Danny Jack. Uh, via DQ after Holland hit Gutter with Danny Jacks Kane. Oh. Pretty basic match. Afterwards, Ryan Holland put the figure four on Gutter around the ring post. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Moving. Danny Jack wasn't wearing the the, the, the banana hammock and stuff. Was he? he wasn't in his underwear. Oh, thank God. Uh, you guys would be blind if that happened. Yeah, he's been man. seen lately in those as of the I'm not for that. I like that. A lot of people do. Danny 
Yeah, you got to wrestle in your underwear more often. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Danny Jack was back out there for the next match. It was Cameron Thomas, Dunham, and Shane Gibson defeated Hollywood star in the New Age Assassins with Danny Jack. When Gibson pinned one of the assassins, uh, Jack tried to hit Gibson with his cane, but Gibson ducked, and Jack hit one of the assassins instead, and got the easy pin. Uh, um, what did you say? The new, the new age assassins. New age assassins. Assassin. So what these are they? not the original assassins. Um, I'm assuming. I have no idea who they are. They're not assassins one and two, are they? No. Are they the same ones from the AWF Chipley show. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm not sure. I don't know much about them. Hollywood star. It's a possibility because AWF ain't. My, that I know of has ran a show in a while. So well, no, no, no. They do that Chipley. The, oh, oh, the one Jack okay. affiliate. Okay. 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 Right. Okay, uh, the next match um, was pretty interesting. This was Californication. They came out there and cut a promo saying uh, we'll defend it against anybody. The Cali kids built against anybody. So Scarface came out there and he accepted the challenge. It was going to be a four-on-one handicap match. Damn! Oh, man. Well, and Scarface uh, is a bad mofo, hey, man. Hey, man. Well, as as big as he is, and as much as he tried, he still didn't get it done. But what can you say? It's four and one. Um, he handled his own. Doug the Chain Williams went up top for a moonsault, and that just, after they beat on him the whole match, Doug finished it off with a moonsault and was going to take the pin, but Callie pushed him off, and he took the pin. <laughs> and afterwards, uh, I didn't get this on camera, but Doug the Chain Williams was a little ticked off. Some dissension amongst some the dissension ranks. Some dissension among Californication. He walked away from them. Ah, uh, I see a feud brewing, man. And this whole time this was going on after they had beaten Scarface. Scarface then regained his composure and Chuck Diamond, Chuck and Dale's, he's had his hand up ready to choke slam Scarface. Well, that didn't work out too good because he got a choke slam from hell off the top. <laughs> didn't get that on camera either. What? Yeah. What? Could you feel the vibration of choke climbing from that choke slam getting through to the mat? But the big news. Come on, Jimmy, line it up, baby. This is a party. You're, that's right. We're swimming gargoyle juice. We are having some fun here in the front row fanatic studio. Why? Because we can. That's why. I'm a swimmer. Well, somebody's got to drive, so he's driving me home, so. Anyways, the big news from this is that Doug the Chain Williams walked away. I don't know if they're going to continue this storyline angle, but that was the big news out of that match. Okay. Match number six uh, was uh, Pretty Boy Donnie B defeated newcomer Xavier Gibbons. Um, pretty basic match. Xavier Gibbons is a WIW trainee student. Um, he's been doing. That was his first match. Oh, really? Yes, and you could not tell that was his, his first trainer. match. Yeah, <laughs> against his trainer. Yeah. Yeah. That's always pretty, a good. Pretty, game. pretty solid match. Um, once you see him, you'll be impressed. He's got a good look. Um, kind of looks like Cameron Frost, like a younger version of him. Shit, he been we looking like no MLG. What you talking about? I hear you. That's pretty hot props. I gotta see some photo or film on that. Man. He might hit the flying burrito too, or the mini, the mini flying burrito. Yeah, okay, a baby burrito. Yeah. All right, we'll buy that. <laughs> All right, next match, the match number seven was for the tag team titles. The American arrogant, the arrogant Americans. AJ Strokes and Mr. Handle That Mike Fasten with Nina success successfully defended their tag team titles against T Bird and Milo. It was a pretty solid match. You know, T Bird and Milo's talent. Um, yes. Milo, I, I have a feeling he's going to be. Dig me one some psycho match. Milo, man. Yeah. Maybe they should tag up more to get some continuity as a tag team, you know? You're right. It, when, I, when, I, when they first came out, I was surprised that they were together. Um, that's a. Pretty good tag team on paper. Sadly, that's the one thing that is lacking a lot in the the, the independent wrestling in our area is solid tag teams. You have maybe three that you can count that are actually tag teams. The Onyx, baby. That's right. Onyx <laughs> Pro Wrestling Club showing the love. Right. And you've got the Rays brothers, mm -hmm. the arrogant Americans there, and they're about the only ones that are you yeah. know, consistently tag teaming. Um, the Arrogant Americans, um, Mike Fasten tags with Donnie B a lot uh, further to the east. Right. Uh, Fasten, he's really not broke out on the singles yet. He's tagged with AJ Strokes this way and Donnie that way. Sooner or later, he's probably going to break out, but he's still young, getting all that experience. And that's good. You know, you, you, you tag with two guys that's been around and stuff, you gain yeah. experience. Uh, Once Mike breaks out, though, I mean, he's, he's, he might have the best physique here. 
Yeah, he does. He definitely got, got the look and looks the I part. know. Scotty Rays is pretty ripped for, for a smaller version, man. I mean, they're... Yeah, for, for like we yeah. say, like a petite girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Uh, he, well, he called you he, petite he said little that, Scotty, not me, baby. He <laughs> <not me. laughs> <laughs> Morrison has all the time. Okay, there you go. I, I can do it. He's looking like some John Morrison. It's good all right. action. All right, the very last match was BTY versus Paul Jordan. This match went like 35 minutes. It was the best match of the show. Uh, farewell match. Yeah. yeah. BTY uh, got busted open about third way into the match, and the blood flow was flowing. It was thick. They, they had a guy following them around. Two mile. guys following them. It was. I, I had blood on my shirt. I thought I was going to get it on my camera lens. I was so close. To Damn! It. Um, I, I, I can't say enough about this match. I wish I could have seen it. I mean, it was, that, that, uh, was, that was really tough for Cheech and I, who are really big BTY marks. You know, uh, it was a farewell, farewell match. But as you said, we're trying to spread the coverage around. So we went to the NWA Gulf Coast. Plus, we had seen Colby's last few matches where you were not able to attend. Right. And Colby, in the last, I'll say, four to five weeks, has delivered five-star matches. Yes. Two versus uh, Cameron Thomas in Ultimate Wrestling. This one here against Paul Jordan. Uh, his title match against the Sheik in the inaugural yeah. Gulf Coast, NWA Gulf Coast. So, I mean, Colby Godwin has gone out on a string of five-star matches. So, I mean, I'm going to miss him. I've been watching him for a long, long time, and you know, people can say what they want, they can say I'm smooching his ass or whatever. I'm a BTY mark, I'm not afraid to admit it, and I'm really going to miss him. He's going to be missed, that's for sure. You know, he's going to leave a void, you know. You know what I'm going to miss about him? You could put BTY up against the, the mid cars, the low car guys, and he makes them look good. Mm -hmm. We're going we're gonna to miss that from him. He, he can make anybody look yeah, good. Yeah, he elevates guys. You know, that you would look on papers like, and I'm not saying this in a negative way, like California Kid. Right. Okay? He's had some awesome matches against Cali Kid. That was his coming out party, more or less. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That brought, that was elevating Cali to the next <laughs> level. So, I mean, Colby Godwin, man, you know, bless you. Love you, brother, man. I hope to see you attending shows. You can hang out, drink some gargoyle juice with me, brother. That's you know, right. If you're not going to be in the ring, don't be a stranger, man. We miss you. I'm going to miss you, and all I can say is for the last six or seven years that I've watched you wrestle, thank you for entertaining me. Thank you for being my friend, and best of luck, you know, in whatever direction you choose to take your life into. So, Yeah, it's definitely going to be uh, strange getting used to, or not getting used to, but not seeing him around, even though when he went up to Philly for a while, it was still strange. And when he came back, uh, it was nice to see him, and now... With him stepping away for for good, as he says, which you know you never know because people never say lives, never in wrestling, baby. That's right. But with him not being around, uh, it's definitely going to be uh, a loss of talent on the Gulf Coast for sure. You know, so uh, I am glad that I got to see uh, several of his last matches. Uh, I'm Look at that, Jimmy shaking that can. He needs some more juice, baby. <laughs> Somebody hook my man up with some more juice now. But woo -woo! For, for wrapping up the show. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, the, the BTY and Jordan match was the best one. Um, not including that match, what would you say would be the best match beside the BTY match? Me, personally, it was the Doug Pitt yeah, match. I agree. Um, <clears throat> and, um, I'm a Doug Pitt fan, so. Yeah, and the runner-up, I, I, you know, I like, I like Milo. Got, got to love some he, psycho. Uh, and his own little fan club over there in the section I was sitting in. Yeah. And I want to point out, make mention of the California kid. Um, he's such an entertainer. The, when they came out and did that promo, he did the, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance to the Iron Fist. Yes. <laughs> he might not be the best wrestler there, but he's certainly one of the most entertaining. <laughs> Absolutely. He makes me smile. <laughs> and he's tough as nails, too, because we've seen him bleed buckets in other promotions. You know, that awesome match he had in Panama City. Uh, was that X Factor there against Chris Tyler where yes. he hit that, hit his head on that, and uh, you know, and T-Bird, they had that ladder match in WIW. California Kid is tough as well as entertaining. So. See, you know, and that's why he's the New Heights champion. He is their champion. Uh, he, like I said, we said he successfully defended it all four against one, but 
Doesn't matter, he's still champion. Yeah, but you know, there's also a little bit of that too, man. Do what you gotta do to take the belt. I, lo I love the entertainment value. We've been running that California faction for quite a while. Well, we've that's got the guys that look up to them. Well, now they're, with that news of Doug and Shane Williams, maybe they're gonna do something to get some more interest. Fresh in blood there. in there. Right. But with that being said, our newest member, Big Jimmy, needs a new beer. We're taking a break. We'll be right back. Gulf Coast Independent Wrestling fans, I'm the Gargoyle from Front Row Fanatics. Every Sunday, check out APW at the AW, APW Arena on West Jackson Street. Ken Matthews, face or heel, you still suck. All right, Gulf Coast Independent Wrestling fans, welcome back to another fantabulous edition of the Front Row Fanatics. We're having fun. We're getting loose. We're drinking gargoyle juice, and I shot a damn moose. <laughs> bang, bang, bang with a shotgun down the street now. <laughs> Earlier this evening, we talked a little bit about New Heights Wrestling. Now we're going to talk a little bit about APW, All Pro Wrestling. They run every Sunday in Pensacola, Florida at the APW Arena on West Jackson Street. I'm drinking beer, getting drunk. I don't remember the address. Look it up on GulfCoastWrestling.com. <laughs> We've got all that pertinent information there. 6510 West Jackson. Whoa! Pain Lord is on the job, baby. <laughs> all over it. Yeah, so, you know, we, first thing we want to say to the good people at APW is, you know, you run weekly. We don't get to attend every week due to work scheduling and everything else. But we want you to know we have much love for APW, and it's hard for us to go to a show, do the things, get the review up, bang, 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 by the time you get your next week's show running. So we're just going to kind of do an overall review of what's happening in APW, not necessarily generic, a, a general overview, talk about things, what's going on. Mullet man, wake up, buddy, have some more juice. <laughs> APW News and Rumors. That's, That's right. APW News and Rumors. News, big events. Okay, anyway, first thing I got to do is, yo, look at that, BD. That's all I got to say to you. Wham. And yeah, what he said, Bobby. I don't have one for that. <laughs> I got a sign, but it doesn't match that. Okay, anyway, right now we're going to talk a little bit about APW. The first thing I want to talk about was at the last show that we attended, I think it was two weeks ago, was... Ken Matthews turning heel. <laughs> oh my God, can you believe that shit, man? You know, it was funny. We were sitting over there in the section, and Ken Matthews come out, and all the Ken Matthews fans were cheering, and we were booing, and they were throwing popcorn at me and telling me, Gargoyle, you suck at everything. And it was like, oh my God. He had a heavyweight title, an APW heavyweight title match against Brutal Joe Gibson. And I must admit, I had a chubby, brutal Joe Gibson beat the crap out of Kid Matthews. And at the end... And Joe stuck his hand out. Yes. Yeah. In a true gesture of sportsmanship. And if you look at it on the videos, Kid Matthews hit that trickster for a little, ooh, pout right there, man. A little pout. Yeah. A little, ooh, little, little pout there and refused to shake. He refused to shake the brutal one's hand, <laughs> and he left the ring. And later on in that show, which we'll get into those details, Kid Matthews turned heel, and I was like, ah! Where's all the Kid Matthews fans now, man? Y'all were clapping and cheering and throwing the little BBs or whatever y'all was doing for Kid Matthews, and now he's a bad guy, and you started booing. You know what I say to all you turncoat Kid Matthews fans? You suck. I hated Kid Matthews when he was a face. I hate him as a heel. There you go. No, I wasn't cheering for you, kid. You come back out there and wham, that's all I've got to say. That's right. Baby or heel, you still suck, Kid Matthews. Whoa, yeah. So now we're going to talk about a few pertinent things there. Uh, first thing I want to ask my man, the mother master Jimmy here. We've got a new title at APW. Uh, See, we didn't go to the last week's show. Right. What well, we just talked about, we didn't get, we, we didn't go to the next one. So there's, there's some significant changes. Right. So apparently there is no longer an APW TV title. Is that correct? So they have a new title. What is it called? It is the Five Flags. New it's called Five Flags title. Five Flags title. Okay. So apparently they had uh, a thing where they stripped. DJ Pringle. DJ Pringle of the belt, and they had a fatal four-way for the match. And who's the new Five Flags title? Ricky Rocket. Ricky Rocket. Oh Tearing my! Again. Oh and my! He's God. the champ. He is the champ, and oh my God, that means 
Monica Adams probably had an orgasm there on the spot because the rocket is now a champ again. You know? Oh, I hope you changed your undies when you got home, Monica. Do you shake your boots? <laughs> I'm assuming that's named because the Pensacola is the city, city of five flags. flags. It's not named after the raceway, I would assume. Correct. You know, wrestling, you never know. But This is true. This is true. <laughs> so we got What's the matter with my Haley baby over there being upset? What's the matter with her now? Her nose. Oh. oh. I thought it was because we were talking about Kid Matthews. <laughs> she don't like no Kid Matthews, man. Uh, another thing, too, is, is the, the, the new belt, okay? Right. And we also had uh, a return of uh, an individual. Who was that? Brian Cage. Yay! Story of last year. Yeah. 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 Yesterday is news, yeah. baby. Yeah. Whatever. Just like I tore your picture up there with Mr. Microwave and them on that other, <laughs> on that other show we used to do, man. You know, yeah. I tore it up when your street got ended. Yesterday's news, man. <laughs> That's right. He went against uh, Jason Steele made a return. Jason also. Steele from Jason AWF Steele. Mobile. Or yes. Mobile area. Parker guy. Right. Okay. They had a, a contract match, and of course, uh, Brian Cage come on short end, but uh, you never know. Might see him later. <laughs> Loser! Loser! <laughs> yeah. He has to come back, and you blew it, Brian. What happened? Oh, I think, I think yeah. Cage is a better talent than there. I haven't seen Steele enough. We've seen him a few times. This is true. I will, I will admit, I, and, and, and like I said, I'm always man enough to admit, and I. Give Brian Cage a hard time. We've seen Brian Cage thing. a lot. We've only seen still a handful. A few times. Yeah. And it was probably a fluke that he lost, but, you know, what can you say? So now we're going to have to see how Mr. Cage is going to work his way back into uh, the inner workings of APW. Oh, he's know? in. He's in. i, I, I got to believe that he's in. What's that say? So who, who did Pop it, for Mays. Pop for Mays. Who did Mays go up against at the APW show this last past week? Uh, Frankie Thomas come back. He's a Frankie. With uh, Miss Brittany. Have you ever seen Frankie Thomas? Is he a newcomer to the One area? time. I've seen him one time. I've seen him once, too. And, 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 right, and when they were on uh, Assignment Burger. Yeah, Burger. yeah, over there at the old uh, Burger Street. Assembly Hall. Yeah, the Assembly Hall there. Sorry, I, by now I've been drinking a lot of beer, so uh -huh. I'm not used. Yes, that's right, gargoyle juice. I also uh, should be drinking. Heard it, uh, Curtis has a segment on the show now. It's uh, Curtis's Pit. Uh, what, what was that all about? What did we miss? Yeah. No, I tell you, Curtis's Pit. That sucks. Change the name. <laughs> Nothing personal against you, Kurt. Call it the Commissioner's Corner or, you know, whatever. But Kurt's Pit, mm, eh, that's all I got to say to that. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't mean to cut you off, Jimmy. So what's the So what's that all about? What is he doing? Is he just... He brought in Bull and Bob and uh, Jaden Matthews now. He wants to be Jayden. called Jaden. Jaden. Oh, so kid with an attitude, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Victor Cruz's little brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, he did in that promo. He's looking like little Victor Crew, man. Jaden, huh? Okay. Well, Bob basically wanted to know why, what he did, what he did. You know, he turned on him, and he wanted to know why, and it ended up in uh, a big beat down on Bob. So. I don't have to believe him, that Bob's uh, going to spank Flex, that one day. Flex come out? I think they all came out and got on Bob. Yeah. Well, well, and we take out. all of those to jump yeah. on the bullet, man. You know, because Kid Matthews, I take bowel movements bigger than him. He, <laughs> he ain't got enough cojones. He ain't got enough cojones to mess with the bullet by himself, man. So I mean, and it put the Bob, bullet Bob out of his tag team uh, title match. So, okay, so uh, Steve Armstrong and Bullet were the champions. Correct. And, uh, and the Onyx took over. That's right. Yeah, the, the Onyx, Onyx baby. Yes, so how, how, did, how did the Armstrongs lose the belts? Uh, kid. Or Jaden. Jaden knocked out Bullet. Baby crew. So they yeah, couldn't. DDG stepped in and uh, partnered up with him. And DDG and Steve Armstrong? Right. And they lost him to the, the Onyx. Okay. And all I got to say is, baby. All hail to the yeah, Onyx, man. man. <laughs> all them people there, all them people at APW were dogging us because we were cheering for the Onyx, man. You know, and you know what? They just can't deal with it. They're cracker killing, <laughs> blood spilling, gargoyle juice swilling, badass mopros, baby. I'm all down with the Onyx Pro Wrestling Club, and if you don't like it, yeah. kill the cracker. <laughs> Baby, 
that's right. We're not discriminatory here on Front Row Fanatics, man. If we like you, we like you. If you don't, we don't. You got no hope, and shh, don't drop the soap. <laughs> <laughs> So what we got coming up up here in APW? Six woman tag team. What's this all about? What is that? What is that? It, it, there it is. It's the Battle of the Booze, baby. Six Smiley face right there. Yeah. Six woman tag team match coming up. So they got six women coming in and uh, they're gonna let some people choose their so partners. Do we know who the, the, the so known women in this match are? The Lustrous is gonna probably be one of the captains. Right. Sure. I think Brittany Bass is coming in from Mississippi. Brittany Bass. Uh, it's kind of up in the air. We, but we, we know the Bust Delicious one is going to be, be captain there. probably the other team. We've seen Rusty know. Becky. We've seen Miss Brittany there. So uh, Are the Monroe Twins maybe coming in? Yeah. No telling. Yeah, you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see Becky and the Monroe Twins versus d Lush and Brittany Bass and maybe somebody else. Andre and the Giant. Oh, Ooh, no. I would love to see <laughs> People got some her. love from Andre That's and right. That's right. Ooh, man, she gave me some love. She chopped the shit out my ass, man. <laughs> All I can say is, people at APW, bring us back some Andre the Giant, man. I dig some Andre the Giant. It's possible. All right, so anyways, the Battle of the Boobs. Uh, what's, what, what's the stipulations or storylines leading up for this match? It is kind of up in the air. It's it's going to have a, what, a choice of partners. partners. That, was, that was what I heard last. So, so basically, like, you're going to have six chicks fighting in the ring. You're going to have, let's see, ch- Twelve, twelve, twelve so boobs so flopping. The that's right. Well, the count. Luscious count. count. She gets, she gets double world. shot for boobs. So you're gonna have fourteen <laughs> boobs bouncing in the ring. Women <laughs> scrapping everywhere. You know. Whoa, be there. That's all I can say, man. And that's know? this Sunday coming yes, up. Yes, this Sunday. Time on. change. It starts uh, one o'clock. One o'clock. Bell time. Bell time. Bell time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Bell time. Doors open at one o'clock. So you can bring the kids and still make it home in time to get them ready for school. Be a great way to start Monday off with school. That's Everybody right. Wrestling. Everybody be motivated. And I did. I did notice. Uh, I saw the Onyx cut a promo, and they got some swipe new APW yeah, tag team belts, man. Those were yeah, nice. Yeah. So you can see that APW is spending the cash. They got some new belts. You know, they're bringing in all kind of talent and stuff, you know, to continually improve their promotion. You know, like I said, I'm the first one to admit I gave Tiny Tiswell hell for a long time, dogged APW, but I was man enough to admit I walked up and shook his hand and said, Tiny, you've done a great job building APW from one of the sorriest promotions on the coast to one of the top dogs right now. They draw a great crowd, good food, good wrestlers, rowdy crowd, you know. Get out there and see APW can, on can Sundays. We, APW management, can we please put this on the menu? Put Mountain Dew. Hangover yeah, says you better buy some Mountain Dew, <laughs> man. I come to APW a few times and they never have Mountain Dew there. I mean, do I need to get onions on my hot dogs? <laughs> man. Oh, I hear you. You can put the onions for our late beloved friend, Bob Liddell. You can get some Mountain Dew for the beloved Pain Lord, baby. So, I mean, I think Busty Becky likes yeah. Mountain Dew. Another so thing I like about APW, too, is they're pulling in some good help. Help, or good talent and some good guys putting on a really good show and these guys aren't limited to they can, they can work here and they can work anywhere there's no limitations on where they can work as far as just because they're at APW absolutely that's good to see for the young talent in the independent scene because the only way you get better is to wrestle more <laughs> if you wrestle at one promotion two promotion three promotion four promotion you get a mix of wrestling with different guys and it'll prove your ability now I will I will be honest enough to admit some promotions have better talent than others, and if you wrestle against crap, you're not going to get better. But if you at least get more ring time and more experience, your skills are only going to get better. And that's one thing I want to give Tony Tiswell double thumbs up for, because he got a promo at that show two he's, weeks ago. He did these promos promoting other wrestling, other indie feds for Absolutely. Like three, four, three or four weeks now, and major props to him for doing that. You will not see another promotion around yeah. here do this. Right. Encouraging APW fans to, to go, go to other, other promotions, promotions, share the wealth, and, and that, that's all. As far as I'm concerned, Tiny is the top dog in our area right now. Major props. I hear you. Uh, like you said, we all dogged him a couple of years ago, but that hard work and dedication has, and pro- has provided from his friends and the wrestlers. And a weekly show. You know, absolutely. He, he runs <laughs> weekly. That's hard to do. Runs weekly and draws more than everybody on a weekly basis. So you can talk all the smack that you want. 
You know, I want to I'll say something. Tony, Tony knows this, but I just want to say it. He, he runs weekly shows, and I love that. And I wish we could be at all of them, and technically we probably could. But it wouldn't look good for us covering one promotion all right. the time. You know, we're, we're trying to give coverage to every promotion on the coast, whether it be good or bad. We just can't hang around at one promotion too long. And With them running weekly, I mean, we can be there once a month, maybe twice a month. Right. But we just can't be there every week. So, I mean, he knows that. That's right. We want to make sure that you understand we have lots of love for APW. But as, you know, front row fanatics in Gulf Coast wrestling, we try to provide coverage for the whole Gulf Coast. So sometimes we don't get to go to all the shows that we want. Right. He even, he even tells his, his That's audience, That's right. Go out and visit them. Exactly. And for that, and for, for me, that shows a lot of uh, a lot of intestinal that was one, that was one of the best promos. I've Absolutely, heard because on Gulf Coast that shows he is that confident in his product that he's going to tell his fans, "Go check out other shows, see what they got to offer, support them." He's all about supporting any wrestling on the Gulf Coast. He's not trying to bogue all the fans and all the talent or whatever. So I give Tiny major props and thumbs up for manning up and saying, "I've got a good thing going, but I want to support." other promotions here along the you know, coast. A couple months ago they were thinking about shutting down. I'm glad they didn't. You made the right choice. Absolutely. That's right. The fans spoke, they heard, and they made it happen. Uh, another good thing, too, is they've got some big things happening. We've got some shows coming up where we've got some some past superstars coming in. Uh, why don't we talk about that and let us know who's going to be coming, and if we got dates, let's fill those in and see if we can well, we get that. We uh, have Kamala Jr. coming uh, August 28th. That's the most current one. Now, Kamala Jr. Now I don't know enough about him. Is he? Is that? Is that gimmick Kamala Jr. Or is this legitimately Kamala's son? Or it know? doesn't matter. Are you gonna tell him the difference? <laughs> Hell no. He's gonna chop the shit out of you. Are you gonna talk? I'll take a chop from Kamala. No, shit, I gotta work that Sunday because that's the Sunday after. Uh, I think Kamala he should take did. a stinky face from the next guy that comes in. <laughs> <laughs> they better at least give me two cases of Heineken if I'm taking a stinky face from that guy. So. That's uh, going to be September 4th, and that's going to be the return of W superstar Rikishi. 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 And former TNA. He was on right. TNA for a little skit there, too, as well, and been across Japan, all across the country. Absolutely. So uh, and, and come to think about it, I think I may have gone to that. But maybe they won't. Oh! <laughs> Better you than me. And of course, return of the New Age Outlaws. Sweet. Badass bad bad Billy Gunn and you the know, Road if, Dog. If the New Age Outlaws are coming in, I see a possible tag team match between them and the Onyx. If the Onyx still have them. You know, the oh, Onyx is out the bell, baby. Have Nobody's beating down on the Onyx, man. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I, mean, I want the Onyx to win. Well, I mean, until they face the Outlaws, right. you know, that'd be tough. You know, you're talking about, um, Lots of I might be wrong. Time. I'm not be wrong. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that multi world tag team champions for the WWE, WWF. Marcus can take them in TA with that little shim he used to have. Yeah, oh, yeah, bring back the yeah. spike, Marcus, baby. Bring back the spike. You got a secret also. Yeah, yeah. Secret new t-shirts, man. New t but you can only get them if you're deserving and a true fan <laughs> of the Onyx Pro Wrestling Club, man. That's it. Exclusive you, band. That's Exclusive. right. All you bandwagon jumpers, get on, man. <laughs> Order mine today, and have big size, so that order mine. That's right. It's on its way. That's right. Sweet, because you are the man. That's right. What's this one say? Speaking of t-shirts. Oh yeah, pop for maze. That's right. Pop for, for maze, baby. Woo. See, I remember That's you, right, man. Bobby. I don't owe you any money. Bobby doll, 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 Bobby doll. Okay, we're even. There, a dollar for every time I said Bobby doll. We're even, man. That's right. What's the name of that uh, shopping complex going to be? It's going to be the Front Row Fanatic Shopping Complex. People, <laughs> cast your votes now. We don't want to name nothing after no Barbie doll, man. FRF Shopping Complex oh, over there on. But was that Barranca Street Barangas or something over there? Vote for the FRF, man. Cast your votes now. FRF Shopping Complex, Bobby doll. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few regulars in ABW now too. Darren Magnus has, has been a regular there. And, uh, Absolutely. Aaron. We might have to throw a little uh, promo there about that. I seen Mr. Commissioner Dahl talking about Mr. Magnus is on a shelf. Well, I beg to differ, and we'll have to throw a promo up there that will uh, support the facts that I'm stating right now. <laughs> so, uh, speak, speaking of Magnus, I love the slogan, and I'm the one, the, the genius behind the Busty Becky sign. I stole it from him. Right. So he'll get royalties. We'll give him some props. <laughs> 
Shit, what you talking about? We had them busty Becky signs in New Heights in Florida before. But not not the one that she's currently got. The, best, right. the best chest on 98 West. That's okay, the, yeah. I, will, uh, I will buy that. I will buy that. Magnus has got it going on, right. man. And for all the skanks in the house, hey. <laughs> yeah, the skank tank, you know, please stay on your side of the building. We like to be able to bring you where we're sitting. So. <laughs> Also, who's it? Uh, Aaron Hart's been a regular there. Supernatural Aaron Hart, a new talent from along the uh, along the Gulf Coast. He's been around the business, a new talent there to APW. So the man, last that I, I saw of Aaron Hart, he um, he had DJ Kringle in that full Nelson and DJ Lay on top, kind of like the right. wrestler Doug Pitt. But right, he was out. He, he didn't wrestle last week. Uh, yeah, he wrestled last week. Aaron Hart wrestled. wrestled. I think he wrestled Pringle again. No, he, he was in the four way. The four yeah. way. The four way elimination yeah. for the which the Rocket took. For the new Five Flags Championship. Yeah, his name is Rocket. Who? Who? Not personally into you, Rocket, but you know, your favorite. That's Monica's Rocket. <laughs> Don't forget it. Yeah, <laughs> not that guy at that other promotion down the street there, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, Port City players, they're, it's no longer. Yeah, they're, they are, right. they are uh, done. They are done. Sad to say that, but they are done. Yeah, now he's stooped as low as the Matthews. So, it's, it's Flex, Becky. Jaden and, and MG still with them. No. We no, don't know where MG is. MG came out with the Onyx last week. I think he's managing the Onyx now. No. Oh, no. Ooh, <laughs> smart move for MG, man. He's going where the gold's at. That's so. it. Go with the money. That's right. So, okay, what is uh, DDG and Cowboy Ray? Where, where, kind of, where are they doing right now? Well, Onyx put Cowboy Ray out for a few weeks. So we <laughs> Hell yeah! Woo! A short return. <laughs> <laughs> was that the match we saw the week before? Right. Okay, so he, he got hurt in back and So DDG's yeah. kind of, he'll be like Fresca. Did he wrestle Fresca last week? He wrestled in the, in the four way also. No, in the tag team, he took the place of Bob Armstrong since he was out. And uh, okay. he lost the right. straps to uh, the Onyx. But on a serious note, I want to ask, how's Mama doing? Uh, she's doing better. Uh, we went to see her in the hospital uh, just the other day, and she was uh, back to her normal self, and she should be going home soon. Good deal. Good. Front row fanatics, want to say lots of love to Mama. We hope you get better. We want to see you at the show, but make sure you rest and recover fully before you come back, because your health and your well-being is more important, you know. Uh, she she, she should be out of the hospital soon, uh, and she was uh, talking about shooting a little video to uh, thank her fans for the cards. And Sweet. The so maybe I can get that up on uh, on YouTube or on uh, Gut Coast. Wherever. We'll put it up. We love us some mama there, you know. Get well soon. Take care of yourself. We miss you at APW. I tried at the hospital, but she didn't have her makeup on. She didn't look like <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her. Yeah, she, she was looking good. And Hell yeah. Back to herself. Uh, it was great to see. Good deal. Good deal. So, you know, uh, APW is a... A, a stri uh, that, 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 not striving, striving, got, 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 strong, juice. strong thriving promotion. Okay, I know what I want to think, but my brain slowed up being drunk. So, a strong thriving promotion on the Gulf Coast. They've got it going on. They're bringing in former WWE superstars. You know, you've got the, 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 the royal family of Southeastern Wrestling and the Armstrongs there, Bullet Bob. Yeah, Steve they, they Scott, like their home base promotion. That's right, mm -hmm. Road Dog. You've had Badass Billy Gunn. You've had Raven. They're bringing in Rikishi, you know. And Tommy said that's only the beginning. So you know, APW, they've got it going on, and and I'm proud to say, it. you know, Tommy, you proved me wrong, brother. You proved me wrong, and I'm man enough to admit it. Thumbs up to you, APW kicks ass. Yeah, that's that sign. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What he said. <laughs> And Nathan Crown and Flex, they got the little thing going on. Oh, yeah. That's the Lumberjack match this Sunday. Yeah, that was a lot of chaos. That was last Sunday. A lot of chaos went on. And uh, now this coming yeah. Sunday, mm -hmm. they're going to have an Iron Man match. Okay, that was the uh, Lumberjack uh, match was last week. Right, and yeah. Oh, missed that. Oh. broke loose. Uh, he has, I think he had trying to have a little knee injury going on. But uh, I think he's going to be well for it. It's going to be an Iron Man match. Uh, 30 minutes, man with most falls wins, and that's going to be the end of their... Wow, so is, um, is Flex going to have Becky and Jaden at ringside? Are they, are they barred or what? Uh, Becky was, he said Becky was coming, but uh, they had some stipulations trying to get rid of her from ringside. Well, then, uh, hell, they need to put the gargoyle down in Nathan <laughs> Crown's corner, man. I'm down with the crown. If you don't like it, get your ass out of town, baby. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to ask you about last week. Um, no, that was last week. No. Uh, I wanted to ask well, one thing about last week. Uh, Becky was uh, handcuffed to Tiny. Uh, what, what happened there? 
Somehow she got him handcuffed to himself around a pole. <laughs> like, I, I missed that action. Next time I know, I seen he was. She got it. She got him excited. <laughs> it was all over, baby. <laughs> He's turn around and he's hanged up to a pole and he's screaming. He's snaked out and hooked it on his arm. <laughs> <That's laughs> right. right. Okay, there must have been a lot of people on the floor. It was, a lot of traffic. It was, it was chaos, for okay. sure. Uh, I can't wait to see the Ironman, Matt. It's going to be a... Abs be abs to absolutely. Two former tag team partners that have traveled down, you know, up and down the highways and byways of the Gulf Coast. I miss them old Heat Seekers videos, too, there, Nathan <laughs> Crown, brother. But, you know... Sometimes good things come to an end, and unfortunately it seems Team Elite came to an end, and now they're going to have the feud with this Iron Man match to settle it. You know, APW, they're popping. They've got a lot of good things going on, so I highly recommend Gulf Coast Indie fans. Check out APW. They run every Sunday at the APW Arena there on West Jackson Street. What's the address? 6510. Thank you, Payne Lord, because you're the only sober one sitting at the table. So, baby, <laughs> woo! we got to give props to Tristan. Say something nice about Tristan. I can't. Why not? <laughs> Come on, man. I like Tristan. That's Darren's new friend, from what I understand. <laughs> Shabby appreciating, man. Shabby appreciating. <laughs> That's right. Let's slow down. <laughs> also, no. We also had the return of D. Luscious. Oh, yes. Yeah. Double D. Luscious, baby. And she's not talking about the initials. She's talking about the size. <laughs> you, know that, you know that profile D. picture you had? Yeah. I yeah. really like that. I can look at it more. Maybe you can. Oh, maybe he and her at the same time. Sweet! We get all, we'll get each get off one of them double D's, baby. I'm going to get in trouble. Tony, you going to whip our ass. I hear you. And Tristan, you know, we're just teasing you, dude. We're glad to see you part of the APW family, man. So He's been working his tail off lately. He's good, man. Absolutely. Yeah. So, with all that being said, we're swilling beer. And, and I'd like to say something, too. We're, we're talking about APW, and, that, and that they are good right now, but not only APW. Whether you like other promotions or not, all Gulf Coast promotions that we go to in our area are hot right now. Absolutely. So, get out and see them all. Venture out and explore them all. They're all doing good right now. Every single one of them is really, really hot right now. So, get out and check them all out. APW does run every week, so it's a little easier to see that every week and see right. it more often and, and feed the need for ultra or, uh, <laughs> Well, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh! Feed the need for indie wrestling on a, on a regular basis, but they all are hot right now. They definitely are running. And a new time started yes. this week. That's right. Doors open at 1, bell time at 2. Here you go, baby. There's a show you do not need to miss. CSW. 10 years of mayhem. If you want blood, you'll get it, baby. Blood, guts, violence, the house of hardcore. 10 year feud in the making. Mr. Violence, John Riker against the redneck Steve, Steve Fury, Fury, baby. Woo! I mean, that stuff is going to explode. If you've never been to CSW, this is one of the shows you need to check out, man. You know, Jimmy drove a long way. He is proof him, you know, just Several other people from the APW crowd. That's true, which I'm drunk and I can't remember their names, so, you know. But they drove a long-ass way from Alabama to come to CSW to check it out. They took our word for it that you won't be disappointed, you know. They came. They enjoyed it. They'll be back, you know. Support the indie wrestling in our area, but damn sure to get out there and see some CSW 10 years of mayhem, baby. You won't be... Disappointing. This Saturday, uh, this Saturday night, WIW in Panama City. Right. Uh, the 19th Street Boys and Girls Club. Club. And then Sunday, APW at 1 o'clock doors open, 2 o'clock right. time. time. That's right. And if you're in the Panama City area, check out Panama City Roller Derby. That's right, baby. Hot chicks on roller skates beating the crap out of each other. The newest sensation sweeping the Gulf Coast. That's right. Check it out. What's so, that? anything else we want to talk about, guys? Yes. yes. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, this is gonna blow y'all lines. 50-50 Ronnie, when was the last time he won? He's on a losing streak. It's been a while. I've noticed that. He's on a losing streak. He's going huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, loser. Yeah, it, the odds, it ain't the fixed. odds are bigger. There's more people coming now. Though. Well, that's true. It's not fixed like that that other place where he's winning all the time, man. So it's been a while. Good luck to him next week. I had to miss Ronnie. I like Ronnie. Yeah, we like Ronnie, and we're just teasing with you, buddy. You know. We enjoy having you with us, hanging out at the various shows that you attend. So, and Woody and Matt, 
Ain't you and Matt gonna have a match soon? Matt don't want nothing to gargle because he knows gargle. I think Matt quit ass. training. I think he gave up. He yeah. Gargoyle scared him before he could even get on the scene. That's right. He, he didn't want nothing. He didn't want nothing. Intimidated. That's right. That's right. Brr, brr. Mr. Matt. I want you, Matt, baby. <laughs> That's right. Fueled by gargoyle. That's right. Yeah. Lean, mean, scrapping machine, baby. We need to see. We need to have a Jerry Reiner sighting. Yeah, where is Jerry? My boy, Jerry, yes, Mr. Electricity, we love you, baby. I just would have thought that he would have been a manager of some kind as much as he Show would. up. Come drink yeah, some beer with me, baby. He would come out and be a manager of something like the Onyx or something, you know? Yeah. Right? He needs to, he needs to uh, get back some, some way or another. Maybe not wrestling, but somehow involved. I hear you. And I don't care what anybody says. I love me some Jerry Ryan, man. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Electricity. I haven't, Damn, I haven't got to see him wrestle. I've seen him one appearance at APW, and he went over the top rope and got injured, and that's the last I saw him. So Damn. I, I like to see him. I did get some old videos. Of Stall, yeah, stalwart, you know, competitor that's been a long time staple of the Gulf Coast wrestling scene, man. Loves some Jerry Ryder, man. Or maybe even get back up and do some more invasion shoots. Hell yeah. That'd be sweet. If not, you yeah, can come hang. You can here. come hang with us and do some videos. That's right. right. That's right. FRF Studios for Mr. Electricity, baby. <laughs> Open invitation. Give us a call. Ooh. Well, anything else? I don't know. Anybody else got anything they want to talk about? The Monroe Twins. <laughs> the Monroe Twins. Yeah, when are you going to get those Monroe Twin Love Slave t shirts out there? That, 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 that six woman tag uh, match coming up. That's so right. What is it? It's the Battle of the Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We may see them. We may see them. We may. That's, we're going to see them. That's a hope. We may see them. And also, we want to thank our newest sponsor, Big Jimmy here, Johnson Cast Nets, baby. He will hook you up with cast nets and all the fishing needs you got to know about. I don't know shit about fishing. Paylor does. Jimmy does. Talk to them. They will hook you up. If you're like me and it ends up around your head, he'll even teach you how to throw it when you buy it. So Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I guess with that being said, we're going to party some more, drink more beer, have fun, and we'll see you in the front row. Woo!